I'm Ophelia Jacobson with Campus Reform. Today we're at George Washington University talking with students about critical race theory. Do students know what it is and will they agree with three of the most basic principles of critical race theory? Plus, do they think we should be teaching this in our schools? Let's find out. Do you guys know what critical race theory is? Uh, no, we're not quite sure. No? No, same. I don't. Uh, no, not exactly. I do not. No, I don't. I don't. I think I have a decent idea about it, but honestly, I can't say I'm an expert on the subject. So I'm going to read you a series of statements that kind of explains the basis of critical race theory. And then for each statement, I want you to tell me if you agree or disagree with it. So the first statement is, the most important thing about you is your race. Do you agree or disagree with that? Uh, disagree. Disagree, yeah. Disagree. Disagree as well. I disagree. Um, I just feel like there's a lot to everybody and race isn't... Race is a very important thing, but it's not the only important thing. There's more to a person than the race that is constructed by society. I mean, people can view themselves differently. It doesn't have to be, just don't agree with that. I disagree. I think every, there's so much more stuff that's more important, like your personality and how you are to other people. So the second one is race rather than merit should be the main factor in hiring decisions. Ooh. No, not the most important thing that people look at, uh, but, ooh. I disagree. Um, I disagree. Yeah, I disagree because uh, that shouldn't be of any importance. No, I disagree. People, people should be hired based on their skills because at the end of the day, the job that you do has nothing to do with the race that you're categorized in. And last statement is racism is in every single interaction that we have as Americans. Do you believe that? Uh, no, I don't believe that. Uh, I know it's very, it's very apparent and present in the United States, uh, but it's not in every single interaction. Uh, I don't know if I can say yes or no to that. Uh, I don't know if that's true necessarily. Do you think it's present in every single interaction? Um, no, not every single interaction, though. You know, knowing all of these things, knowing that these statements come from critical race theory, what if I were to tell you that all three of these statements are being taught to college kids, to kids in K through 12 in this country? Would you be surprised at this being taught? Yeah, I'm really surprised that it's being taught, and I don't think that's a good thing. Yeah, it is a little surprising, because I feel like there's been a lot of reform in that realm, but yet yeah, education systems aren't picking up on that. Do you think this is something we should be teaching our kids? Um, no, not necessarily. No, that, I, don't think, I don't believe that should be taught. Just uh, it's not really a good way to think about things. You know, looking at Martin Luther King Jr., everything that he's done for this movement, he always said we shouldn't judge each other based on the color of one's skin. Um, do you think this is what he envisioned for America? No, I mean, obviously you should be aware of race, but if you fixate on it so much to the point that you see nothing else in the other human being, then obviously that counters, you know, the type of activism he's trying to do. No, definitely not. I think you want it um, a more, like, combined America and not, like, focus, like, focus on race is important, like, history-wise, but it should be more respectful and not, not separating people. My name is Addison Smith and I'm with Campus Reform. Thanks so much for watching and it really helps if you like and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe right here so you can stay up to date on all of our content. If you wanna help us to continue to make these videos, please donate to the link here. And lastly, if you wanna get hooked up with some of our swag, click here.